I want to. Because the movements are not complicated. They are not really physically demanding. So Baduan Jin would be the easiest exercise and the easiest Qigong practice to, to learn. When you're able to remember Baduan Jin and have already understood and practiced also the Baduan Jin for some time, it's much, much, much more easy now to, for example, move on and continue with the Yi Jin Jin. There are some similarities of the way how you move maybe the complexity of movement starts to increase a little bit but it's much much more easy to practice the Yi Jing if you have already uh, developed some type of feeling for the state of, of putting yourself when you practice the Qigong so that means first practice Baduan Jin then you can practice Yi Jing Jing or afterwards then also choose like the Lohan postures now maybe between Baduan Jing, Yi Jing Jing on the one side and the Lohan postures on the other side sometimes it's related to being Baduan Jing, Yi Jing Jing is like pretty static in a way because all the movements that you're doing they more or less like take place wherever you're starting. You don't move around too much. You have different postures turning to the left, to the right, front and back, but mainly you're standing wherever you are, you're standing. And the Lohan postures, they are becoming a little bit more dynamic in terms of uh, you're also starting to include your surroundings into the practices that you're making. So the steps are becoming more wide, the steps are becoming partially also very low. Now, if you are coming, for example, from a dancing background, chances are very high that for you it will be more easy to, for example, start with the Lohan Chigo. Yeah, but very important and not to forget. No matter if it's dynamic or if it's static, if you are practicing the Qigong and using music or no music, if you are practicing it outside in the nature with the birds singing, doesn't matter what. But it's really important that during all these Qigong practices, you are not leaving anything that happens with yourself to coincidence. You don't drift, close the eyes and just like let yourself dream and drift away. It is about, you're very conscious and you're very aware of what you are doing and how you are doing it and how it is influencing your body and all your body energies. This is important. So I think the benefit of the Baru engine, or why it's also called the Eight Treasures, we have eight separate exercises, which when you are practicing them continuously on a regular basis, are stimulating, I would say, the majority of all areas of your body. So that means you don't need to remember 12, 15, 16 different types of exercises. You just need to remember eight. When you make those eight on a regular basis, you still take influence on almost all areas that you have. In a way, you can say that the eight, broca eight brocades have been developed uh, as a simplified Qigong practice, also for lay people. Easy to remember easy to practice and still a lot of health benefits. Now, I think this is the great part about the Bado Ranjit. Yi 
Jing, if you translate, is muscle tendon transformation. Regardless of whether you really say it's the transformation of muscle or tendons, but there is something about transforming. There are many ways how you can generate power. You can use your muscles to generate power. You can use other areas of the body to generate power. This is different. Yeah. It's just that in the moment where you are becoming more sensitive for different areas of yourself, different areas of your body, then you are also able to access different areas of the body, making use of different areas of the body. And all of these things taken together, this is what I Ching Jing is making with you. It's transforming a lot of things about you, not just physically. It's transforming also the state of the mind, what you're able to access, the awareness of your own body. When the transformation of I Ching Jing has taken place, This transformation will appear in everything else what you make afterwards. You can make Kung Fu and the way how you make Kung Fu will have transformed. You can go and play football and the way how you play football, how you develop the power in playing football has changed. You can practice the Baduan Jin bit, but together with the transformation that the Yi Jin Jin gave you, your Baduan Jin will have another quality.